Hi, this is Evan Hutchison, CPA, and I am going over the correct way to input a property sale into QuickBooks. I'm using QuickBooks Desktop, but you can go to really you can go to any software. It's, I'm just it's not really specific to QuickBooks. I'm just putting a journal entry in. So I'm showing you the correct way to put a journal entry into your bookkeeping software for a property sale. And this is, you know, either an investment property or a property that you are, you're flipping. So you're either a real estate developer or a real estate investor. It's not for a personal residence or anything like that. We just need to show the, the sale, the costs, the, um, the closing out of the loan, and the final cash coming in. Uh, and we show that all in one journal entry. And the thing about a journal entry is... In order for it to work, the debits have to equal the credits. So the left side has to equal the right side. Accounting is a two entry system and I'll kind of show you how that works out going forward with this entry. So first thing you want to do, and this is QuickBooks, you would go to company, make general journal, journal entry. This will pop up, you'd put the correct date in, 624 2016 put whatever entry number you might want to use and then you'll start on the journal entry. So the first one, and I haven't used the set of books in a while, so you know a lot of a lot of names, account names are a little bit different in different sets of books, and so I might be a little forgetful on what to put in, but we'll find it. So sell price of property. As you can see, the seller is on the left hand side, the borrower, the buyer is on the right hand side. We're the seller, so we're only concerned with this this side right here, the left column. So we do sales. Nope, maybe it's construction income. Construction income. Income is a uh, credit. So when you're when you're creating income, you're crediting that uh, amount on the journal entry. When you're creating an expense, you're debiting it. So we're crediting income. Of six fifty nine nine hundred, and you can put whatever you want in the memo. You can put whatever you want in the name. One thing you want to do, you don't necessarily have to put anything in the memo. We know it's construction, and we're selling the house. We're selling the property for money. But the name, you're going to want to come up with. Um, you're going to want to make sure you utilize that name. So when you run a P and L or whatever you might run. You can filter it by the specific jobs or specific properties, and you'll be able to see um, the income and expense for that particular property. You can't do that if you don't label it. But I don't have the name set up. We'll just pretend like it's um, 123 Main Street. We'll be done with it. The next line item is county taxes. I tend to put most of all the expenses when I close a property out into settlement costs. Property taxes maybe are a little different. Maybe we can try to put property taxes in a particular category. So if we do that, we would put 350.88. If it's just settlement taxes or settlement costs, we would just we would debit settlement cost and put 350.88. We don't really need a memo for this either. I mean, it depends on how descriptive you want to be. You might want to show how it's been prorated from January 1st to 624. Me, I, you know, I don't take the time to really do that usually because I can make that assumption because of the journal entry date. And we scroll on down and we see um, these title charges. Title charges I do put in settlement cost. And so I just do settlement cost. It's a cost to get sold. I would add all these up, or I can put them in separately. It doesn't matter. We'll just put them in separately for now. And you might, I mean, you might want to label this since, there's, since you really don't know. Settlement cost is a pretty vague term. 50.
All right, so as you see, these are expenses and they're being debited. They're on the debit column. The income is the credit. Commissions are also expenses, and I put those under settlement costs as well. And then this was the loan that was paid off with the property sale. So this is, you might want to put it under, um, I mean, you can call it whatever you want. We're just going to do loan payable for simplicity. But you might want to call it like note payable 123 Main Street. So loan payable. 469 636.82 this is a loan all right so liabilities are normally credits so we've already dealt with the revenue right here that's a profit and loss item and the expenses which are also profit and loss items um, on the there's two main financial statements the profit and loss and the balance sheet the profit and loss the revenues are credits the expenses are debits that's how they're put on the books on the balance sheet Assets are debits, liabilities are credits, equities credit. But since we are, we're not increasing this liability, we're paying off this liability. So instead of its normal credit, it's going to be a debit because there is already a credit for 469,636 on the books. We need to debit that out, zero it out since it's been paid off. So we're going to debit that. And then settlement fee, that's another settlement cost, 495. Settlement fee. And then the um, final number should be the cash coming in 1476250. 1476250. So cash, like I said, is an asset, and assets are debits. This is cash coming in, so it's going to be a debit, which is right here, to the cash account. And then all you got to do is hit save and close, and you are done. So then you go to your financial statements, you'll see it'll, it'll show the increase in cash on the balance sheet, it'll show the decrease in the payable on the balance sheet, and if you go to the property and, or the profit and loss statement, it'll show the increase in income and the increase in all the expenses. And that's that's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, that's the most important thing. There's there's always going to be some more complications. I'm doing a pretty basic one, and I'll try to do I'll try to come up with one that's a little more complicated. But I just kind of wanted to get the the framework in there for now. So um, hopefully this is somewhat understandable, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.